Hey, hey everyone, Crafts with Crashly here. I have a, another unboxing for you. This one is extra super duper special because this is my Drills in Chills diamond painting. <laughs> so I wanted to do the Drills in Chills event. Uh, it's just, it's a giveaway thing. Um, I think K Diamond Paints is running the event this year. And to participate, you just have to be doing a fall or Halloween themed diamond painting and then you share your whips. Um, I'll link in the description of this video, K Diamond Paints video about the event in case you're interested or want some more information about that. But this is the diamond painting that I ordered. Yes, I'm a little bit late to the event. It started September 1st. I'm recording this on September 5th, blah, blah, blah. But um, I've had this for a couple days, been waiting to do this unboxing for you. The reason why this one's extra special though is because it's not just a Halloween diamond painting that you can find online. I wanted to do something that no one has done before. So as you, some of you know, I have a very talented sister-in-law. Like, holy moly. Her name's Kalina and she's an artist. Sorry, we'll, we'll open this in just a second. I have to get you just a little bit of a backstory. <laughs> but she's an amazing artist. Uh, I have a couple lives with her where we worked on clay stuff together. Um, but yeah, she also is a good, you know, artist like with paint and stuff. And, and she got this computer program and, you know, is working on different sketches. So I had contacted her and I asked her, could you design me a Halloween diamond painting? And we kind of like tossed ideas back and forth and she came up with the cutest image. It was like a collaborative effort, but it was totally all her. So <laughs> once you see this image, I'm going to give you some information. Like if you're interested in like doing a custom kind of like this, like how you can get in contact with Kalina, you know, to see if she wants to do designs for you or things like that. So if you have an idea you want to bring to life, I'll give you some information towards the end. Um, but I purchased this custom, I, I was running out of time, it was like towards, um, like, I don't know, mid, mid-August-ish, where I, I decided to do this whole custom thing. So I did some research, and I asked around, I was like, I need a custom order, but I need to get it quick! So I've ordered a few customs from a diff different companies, you know, I ordered from like Evermoment, and they take like two to three months to get here, <laughs> but, um, so Jennifer Roberts recommended the Pink Raspberry, and I remember Lizzie, um, off of Lizzie World Gems, she is talking about them too. So I ordered this from the Pink Raspberry, they're a company based out of Canada, they actually have their own warehouse, which is freaking sweet, um, but yeah, and... I, I did some research and there's actually a video out there um, that I think her name is Rambling Rose. I think that is. Yeah, Rambling, Rambling Rose and Diamond Painting. She did a video like of a tour to her trip to the Pink Raspberry Store there in Canada. I'll link that in description below as well, but it's pretty cool. So yes, they're their own company. They have their own warehouse, manufacture their own diamond paintings. And I actually ordered... This diamond painting, let me look it up. Okay, I ordered this 819 and I actually received it September 2nd. That's only two weeks to order a custom, have them make it, and then get it here from Canada. So getting a custom within two weeks is like unheard of for me anyway. It, it takes like usually well over a month. So it only took two weeks. <laughs> That's amazing. So I'm so glad I took Jennifer's advice, but we're going to unbox this one. I can't wait until you see the image that Kalina came up with. It's so, so unique and adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and cut into this real quick. Now, just a little bit about ordering from the Pink Raspberry. They do have a Facebook page um, where you can go, you can ask any questions, and they post these little videos and stuff all the time. Holy moly, this is really taped in there. <laughs> so I'll link that, and then they also have their own website. Now, to order, let me get my X-Acto knife. <laughs> 
to order customs from the pink raspberry. They're pretty reasonably priced, but the shipping, like I'm in the United States, so the shipping was expensive, but to me it was worth it because I was in a huge hurry. Um, so their custom kits, gosh, I'm sorry, that's loud. Hold on, let me pause this real quick. Okay, sorry about that. It was really hard to get that open. Um, so to order customs from their website, um, you just upload your image and their, all of their customs are round drill. Oof, yeah, am I still gonna be able to pull it out? Yes, yeah, so you have to have round drill. And so the customs themselves, they start at the size 46 by 56 for customs. And if it needs to be any bigger, then they'll email you and you know let you know if there's a price difference and things like that so you upload the image and they they try to get the um that standard size of 46 by 56 to work i'm gonna make sure there's see if there's anything else in here hold on sorry the toolkit was stuck way down there there's a toolkit um so yeah they, if they can't get the 68 by 40 centimeter standard size to work they'll email you and let you know if it needs to be bigger um so let me go ahead let's take a look here real quick and i did ask if they had poured glue but just looking at the cover they you know, this is not poured glue this is double-sided adhesive let me see if i can get this unraveled real quick i was hoping they had oh they do have a thumbnail yeah. okay so here's the canvas laid out here now i'm gonna get the toolkit we'll take a look at the toolkit um, and then I'm going to show you the thumbnail of the image. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love it. Let me see if I can get this to kind of lay down a little bit though. That's a long one. Okay. So just looking here, looks like they didn't, they like missing a little covering right there. See the little, little gap. Okay. So here's the toolkit that they sent with it. And again, it was kind of hard to get you at the bottom of this, but let me just see if I can pry this open, baby. I just cut open the, <laughs> the packaging because I don't have the patience for that jazz, you know? Okay, so you get a thing of tweezers. They are the metal death super sharp tweezers. Uh, you get a, a pink squishy. Oh, yay. And you have your drill pin, your single placer, and it looks like they sent a three placer. You get a thing of wax and your tray. So pretty standard tool kit, nothing crazy special. Let me just put this over here. Okay, now I'm going to open the drills here really quick so I can show you the thumbnail. Because it's within the drills. Okay. So here is the schematic. They do have it separated, so that's really cool. Wait until you see it. Ah, oh, there it is. Look at it! Oh my gosh, it's so adorable! So it, it literally says drills and chills. I don't know if you can quite see the 20, but it says drills and chills 20. Little cat in a broom. Oh, it's so cute! It says it was packed by Joan. Thank you, Joan. I appreciate you. Oh, and it was checked by Arlene, maybe? Thanks, Joan and Arlene. You rock! So let's open this real quick. All right, does this tell me how many colors there are? No? All right, we're gonna have to count. Oh, I love counting. Okay, so I'm getting about 32 colors, I think, unless I miscounted, which is very possible. So here's what the symbols look like, and the inventory sheet's pretty interesting. They actually have like a description of each color too. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. This is like 210 is lavender medium, and then 224 is shell pink. Very light. <laughs> That's cool. Looks like all of the symbols are pretty standard. You got all the letters all the way to Z, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, and dot. That's cool. And that's B5200. Why does it say B5200? Hmm, interesting. Let's see if there's any interesting <laughs> color descriptions. Orange spice light. Ooh. Yeah. Pearl gray baby pink light. Mm. Canary deep. That's pretty interesting. And then you have, so those are the symbols. That's the DMC. 
a color description, which I have not seen before. Oh yeah, and then mine did have to be a slightly larger than the standard. So again, the standard size for custom is 46 by 56. And she did email me after I made my order and she said I, we need to do a little bit bigger. So this one is 68 centimeters by 40. So that's that. And then here it looks like you have the number of drills of each DMC on the canvas. So it looks like... Yeah, this white, Snow White, ooh, has the most on here. So let's set that aside. And again, that was in here with the drills. Let me zoom you back out. All right, put you back in here. There we go, I think we're getting somewhere. All right, so here is the drills. Looks like you get, oh, here's their business card. Cheryl, it is Joan, see? All right, and here's the back. Oh, this is like diamond painting instructions. Yep, yeah, that's cool. All right, oh, and it looks like their drills are in bags. Oh, I love that. I love it when drills come in baggies. Ooh, and you know what? These aren't just those normal flimsy baggies either. These are like... I don't know if you could tell. They're like higher quality baggies. There we go. All right, and they have, it looks like the DMC on each color. And their round drill. Oh look, are you my mother? And I have a little hole in this one. Looks pretty good. Got a yellow. It's gonna bring you in a little bit more so you can see each color. What else we got? We got Two, two, four. I want to. <laughs> I want to see what this inventory sheet says about each color because that's just the kind of person I am. This is shell pink, very light. We're not going to do this for all of them, but the interesting ones we probably will. Got four, one, five. Mm, ooh, orange. Seven, twenty-two. What does it say about orange? Uh, orange, orange spice, light. Ooh. Fancy Panzer. Then we have like a little tan color. What does it say about 407? Does it say poopy brown? It says clay brown. Um, not all clay is brown. <laughs> Just kidding. So here's 5200. And now this says it's that's snow white. I don't know what's with the B. I was kind of wondering if they were gonna give me ABs, which I didn't even know they had. <laughs> so that would have surprised me. Here is 3756. This is Baby Blue Ultra. Mm. 435. Um, brown, very light. 3747. Oh, what does it say about that? This is going to be the last one, unless there's another interesting one. Wait, 3747. Oh, there it is. Very, wait. Blue, violet, very light. Cool. All right, what else we got? You got 3825, 3778. Here's 741. The drills look pretty good. 762, 819. Mm. Ooh, what does it say about 927? Oh, gray, green, light. Gray, green, I can see that. I agree. Here, 928 is another interesting one. Gray green, very light. Oh, okay. Well, so this is gray green. This is gray green, very light. Yeah, I can see it, I guess. 726. Topaz light. Okay. 3863. 3866. They're really, really shiny. Oh, I'm excited. 3072, 3078. Yellow. This one looks like gray green. I wonder what it says about 3072. Oh, this is... 3072 is... is beaver gray. Very light. <laughs> beaver gray. Oh, 3371. Okay, what else I got? 613. Six four five five twenty. I love these bag eights. Oh, where did that one? 
It is a 3032. 451. 646. We got another big old bag of 5200, just the white. 712. 976. And 977. All right, so those are the drills. I'm just going to recount them real quick just to see how many we have different colors. Well, there's two 5200s. Yeah, there's one. Okay, yeah, there's 32 colors. So I'm gonna put these colors back in the bag here real quick. Um, yeah, if I can get them to fit, you know, put them opposite or something. And then we will take a closer look at the canvas. So I'm gonna stop the video here and I will be right back. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this canvas to lay down flat. Um, and if you are new to diamond painting, here's a quick tip on how you can do that with these types of canvases. Um, if you just lift up the corner here, maybe, man, it's really sticking on there. Ugh, come on. There we go. All right, if you lift up the corner. Ooh. And once you put it back down, it will lay flat. Okay, so this is... This is how the image goes. This would be the bottom left of it. Let's bring you in real quick. Look at the clarity of the symbols. Wow. The symbols are perfect. Like really, really perfect. Oh my gosh. Well, that's impressive. And the double-sided, this is double-sided adhesive. It doesn't go too much crazy over very tacky so now watch and if you have a ruler to put this down flat to get air bubbles out i would recommend that so i'm just taking my ruler and i'm just simply putting it back so again they did have a little overhang right here so i'm only a little concerned if that's still going to be tacky let me just try to pull these up real quick They didn't get dirty. It is still tacky. Okay. So that little gap right there is absolutely no big deal. All right. So I'm just going to flip this over. We're going to look at the other side here real quick. Right here. Let's go. Let's go to this end. Okay. So this should be the bottom right getting into, where to go? Bottom right. So like right around the kitty cat. Let's pull this part back here. Send me back in. Sorry, I do not have fingernails. This is not working out. There we go. All right. Oh, wow. The symbols are very clear. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the kitty. Oh, she's so cute. Gosh, this is so stinking adorable, and everything is so clear. Look at that. The symbols aren't crazy or anything. Oh, pink raspberry. <laughs> I am pretty freaking impressed. There are absolutely zero rivers whatsoever on the canvas, too. So, like, wow. So, for this price of the custom, even the shipping. Like, that $20 extra shipping, <laughs> you know, because the price of this kit, what I had to pay, um, it was $40 for the custom, and then shipping was $20. So, it was, it was pretty, it was expensive to ship here. However, like I said, usually when you order things from International, you have to wait a little bit of time, right? Yeah, wait, wait a bit. I only waited two weeks, y'all. <laughs> so... It, to me, it's well worth it to pay the extra $20 for shipping for this. Like, I am very, very, very impressed. Like, the symbol clarity, I, I, 
I mean, it's, it's probably the best I've ever seen with a company that doesn't have poured glue. Like here's the pumpkin. Like the rendering is very, very good. Oh, I'm hoping we're gonna be able to see what this says. The, it's supposed to be carved. So the yellow is supposed to be going around it. Okay, you can see it. So you can see drills and chills. I had to look at it for a hot minute. That's right. So you can you can definitely see it. So yeah, the rendering is really, really well done. Um, looks like the spider web. Let's just, we'll go up and look at the spider web here. Looks like that might be a little broken up, but that's okay. We're not gonna know exactly for sure, you know, how it turns out until we actually do it. But I really am, very, very impressed. Like, I really am. And like the cool part about ordering from the company is, I mean, it, it is owned. I mean, there's there's two owners and there's one of them do, does all these custom orders and they make sure the rendering is proper. They send you a schematic if you email them. You have, like, if you order a custom, you have to email them to request a, um, a proof of it. I said schematic and I meant proof. <laughs> And yeah, they'll, they'll make sure you get the right size. If you need bigger, they'll tell you you need bigger, just like they did for me. I'm making sure all the air bubbles are out. And like the quality is most definitely there. So Jennifer Roberts, thank you so much for recommending them to me. I am, I'm still super blown away at how quickly I caught it. <laughs> like that's insane, especially for international shipping. Wow, there we go. I cannot wait to work on this. So again, this is designed by my sister Kalina. So if you're interested in getting like a one of a kind design like this, or you have an idea, then reach out to Kalina. I'll have her contact information below. Um, she's working on getting her art you know, out there and get uh, her name out there and stuff. Um, so I'm not sure about the pricing or anything, what she would charge, um, but she did say to have you contact her at, you know, what I put in the description. I think it's her email address. Yeah. And she'll go over everything with you. And I'm going to put at the end of the video, a couple more images that she just designed. She has like a dragon and stuff she did. And she's working on something with the TV series, like Lucifer. So a Lucifer inspired <laughs> image too. So I know she's gonna, she would charge for the image itself and then you would order the painting. You're like, if you want it for a dying painting as a custom. So, but they would all be one of a kind and she's incredibly talented. So yeah, check her out. And yeah, I would definitely recommend the pink raspberry to order your customs from, um, especially if you want good quality, reasonable pricing and by far the quickest shipping I've ever heard of for custom orders. So again, thanks Jennifer for recommending the pink raspberry to me. Superb quality, very impressed. And I just wanna, that was it, man. That's it for this one. I can't wait to work on it. So yeah, check the description for all the links that I mentioned here. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm incredibly excited to get started on this and start entering for drills and chills. <laughs> all right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye!